Let's take a look at this problem. We are given that 3 to the power x equals 4 to the power y equals 12 to the power z. Find the value of z over x plus z over y. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. My first approach would be to obtain z over x and z over y separately from the given expression. So as we have 3 to the power x equals 12 to the power z, if we take the so-called x root on both sides, as in we multiply the index of both sides by 1 over x, then we have 3 equals 12 to the power z over x. Using a similar approach, starting from 4 to the power y equals 12 to the power z, we can do the same thing and obtain that 4 equals 12 to the power z over y. <coughs> then to add them up, adding the indices means to multiply the numbers. So we multiply both equations. 3 times 4 equals 12 which equals 12 to the power z over x plus z over y. And comparing the indices, we know our final answer should be 1. Another approach is by noticing that the basis 3 times 4 equals the third base, which is 12. So I would like to combine the numbers with bases 3 and 4, see if I can get a power of 12. But the indices at the two numbers, x and y, are still different. So I'm going to do some algebra to make the indices the same. To do this, I'm going to start with 3 to the power x equals 12 to the power z, and bring both sides to the y power then the indices will multiply by y. So we have 3 to the power xy equals 12 to the power zy. And using a similar approach, starting from 4 to the power y equals 12 to the power z, I'm going to bring both sides to the x power. So then 4 to the power xy equals 12 to the power xz. Now the indices of the two numbers are equal. Then I multiply them together. Then I have 12, x, 12 to the power xy equals 12 to the power zy plus xz. Then comparing indices, we have xy equals zy plus xz. Then our given expression is z over x plus z over y. If we add them together, combine the fractions, we have zy plus zx over xy. And from above, we know that the top and the bottom are equal, so the fraction is equal to 1. Our third approach is to use logarithms. So taking logarithms on all three powers, we have x times log 3 because the index part x, y, and z can be moved outside of the logarithm. So x log 3 equals y times log 4 equals z times log 12. Then from this equation we can see that z over x is equal to log 3 divided by log 12 while z over y equals log 4 over log 12. Then by adding them up 
these fractions actually have the same denominator, which is log 12. While for numerator, we have log 3 plus log 4. And since the sum of logarithms is multiplying numbers inside the logarithms and then take log all at once, so we have log 3 times 4, which is 12, divided by log 12. And clearly, it's 1. Please feel free to share ideas in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.